We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. I wanted to come on here and do an update on the whole Kanika Jenkins situation. So yesterday, um, community activist Andrew Holmes, he did a press conference and he basically stated that him and the police, they reviewed the footage on Thursday of Kanika Jenkins walking into the freezer and that they would let the people see it today after the family members had seen the video. Go ahead and check out this news conference really quick and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Telling WGN investigates that there was no lock on the old freezer door where the body of Kanika Jenkins was found this weekend. The hotel surveillance video yielding important clues for investigators as to precisely what happened to the 19-year-old in the moments before she seemed to have disappeared. Crime Stopper Andrew Holmes says that he was shown the surveillance video and he says that it shows new details about the tragedy. The important part is and that we all was wondering and wanted to know, did anybody pull her down there? Did anybody force her down there? Was anybody on the other side in that room with her when she got down there? And the answer to that is no. Andrew Holmes says the hotel surveillance video shows Kanika Jenkins alone this weekend in the basement of the Crown Plaza Chicago O'Hare Hotel at times stumbling around, Holmes believing that she's trying to find a door to the staircase to get back up to the lobby. The other door, probably when she got in there, that door closed on her too and it was dark in there. Now, there is a knob that you can push to get out of there, but you know, that investigation has to go on with the Rosemont Police Department. Holmes says he saw Jenkins open the door to an old freezer, apparently not in use anymore, in the basement of the hotel. A source telling WGN investigates that the freezer door did not have a lock and it had a mechanism to open the door from the inside. And I'm still pressing for true transparency. There's a lot of unanswered questions that remain. The video has yet to be released. In another late breaking development, representatives with the Crown Plaza Rosemont Hotel offering confidential viewing of the surveillance video for family members of Kanika Jenkins, also offering to pay funeral expenses. I think that it was, it was a tragic accident and um, obviously we are uh, heartfelt grief with the loss of any young person. In a written press release, Rosemont police say that they have now released the hotel surveillance video to the Jenkins family prior to it being released to the public. At the Rosemont police headquarters, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Okay, so you guys just saw the news conference, and as of an hour ago, um, they finally released the video footage to the media, and so everybody's currently talking about this on social media, and you can see in the video, 19-year-old Kanika Jenkins literally walking around like a zombie. She looks like she's been drugged, she's swaying from side to side, she's falling over. I mean, it's just really disturbing and eerie to watch this video. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary.
All right, so you guys just saw that video. And of course, a lot of people are still not buying it. A lot of folks are saying, you know what? I'm not believing this. This is fake. The video's edited. You know, like I said, I got chills watching the video. The entire story is just, it still gives me the creeps. I will say that a few things bother me about the video. I mean, to me, she does not look like she was roughed up. Um, it didn't look like any of her clothing were messed up or anything like that. It doesn't look like she had been assaulted. It looked like, you know, her outfit was still well put together. Her hair was in place. But the way she was walking, I felt like she was more or less drugged than drunk. And another thing that bothers me is that I didn't see the footage of her going into the freezer. I mean, if there is camera footage, the way that they were talking in the media yesterday, they made it seem like they're going to show us footage of her opening the freezer by herself and then locking herself in there accidentally. And the only video footage I've been able to see online is her just walking around staggering. So, I mean, until the entire footage comes out, I'm still giving this case the side eye. Because the thing is, as inebriated as she looked, she could barely stand on her own too. I just find it really funny that she'd have enough strength to literally open a heavy ass freezer door and then shut it behind her. And they're also saying that this was a freezer that was not really in use. So if it's not in use, was the freezer still on? Was it still cold? I don't know. It just seems to be a lot more questions than answers with this case. The whole situation is very disturbing. I am glad that the hotel is choosing to pay for the funeral expenses, which I think is wonderful. But again, um, from also watching the footage, it does seem like she was down there for quite a bit of time. So my thing is, if she was down there walking around for anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour, where were her friends? It's like nobody thought to themselves, hey, I haven't seen Kanika. Where did she go? Let's go look for her. And maybe they did go look for her. Maybe they were in the front of the hotel as opposed to downstairs in the basement. So again, the whole situation is just really odd to me. But I really hope, like I said in the initial video, that people take this entire situation and take it as a lesson learned. And young ladies, we need to look out for each other. If you come to a function together, then all of y'all need to leave together. No one should be left by themselves at any type of party or event. And then we also need to remember to watch our drinks and be careful with the things that we do. You know what I'm saying? Like, cool, go to a party, kick it, you know, kick back, have a good time, but always be mindful. There are people out here who are sinister who will spike your drinks, who will lace your weed, you know what I'm saying, who will put certain things in the foods that you eat. So you just have to be really, really mindful of the crowd that you're around and the people that you're around. You know, either way, this entire situation is just really sad. It's creepy. It's disturbing. You know, rest in peace to this young girl who had her whole life ahead of her. So let me know what you guys think about this situation. Does this video footage answer any questions for you or do you feel like it leaves more questions than answers so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad honey and last but not least please realize that youtube no longer supports this channel you know what i'm saying so to continue to support me and everything i do here on this channel please make sure to join my Patreon or my PayPal. You guys can donate as little as a dollar a month if you guys want me to keep cranking out these videos. I need support from viewers like you all. I enjoy making content. I enjoy speaking my truth as I see it, and I'm not going to allow YouTube or anybody to stop me from making videos. So please continue to support this channel. All of those links will be down below. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.